Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to introduce Miss Brianna Johnson, who will be singing the national anthem. Thank you, Brianna. Now, I welcome to the podium Sister Mary Catherine Doherty, Vice President for Mission and Ministry for our invocation. Let us pray. Loving God, source of all life, known in infinite ways, we thank you for your sacred presence with us today reflected in each member of the class of 2022. We experience wonder and joy in the giftedness and accomplishments of these graduates. We thank you for the many blessings you have bestowed upon them throughout their studies. We know that their work is not done. Give them the strength to carry our values of reverence, integrity, service, excellence, and stewardship with them as they go forth from Newman University. Empower them to walk into the future with faith, hope, and great love, guided by your light, so that they may use their talents to create a world marked by peace, justice, and compassion. May their lives be a blessing to all. Amen. Please be seated. Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to Newman University's 56th Annual Conferring of Degrees. On behalf of every member of the Newman University family, I would like to offer our sincerest congratulations to a phrase you're going to be hearing a lot of in the next hour and a half or so, the graduating class of 2022. On this momentous occasion, we have to pause and thank God, St. John Newman, St. Francis of Assisi, St. Clair, Mother Frances Bachman, for all the blessings that they've bestowed upon us here at Newman University and upon this holy hill. We'd also like to take a moment to thank any veterans of the United States Armed Forces who are here today. So if you're a veteran, please stand up and be recognized. I'd also like to recognize the Golden Anniversary alumni who are celebrating their 50th 
graduation anniversary and are here with us today, please stand and be recognized. Now, I'm a music guy, so I had to look up uh, Best Songs 1972. Neil Young, Heart of Gold. Brandy, You're a Fine Girl by Looking Glass. Dr. Sayers and I love that song. And probably the most important song of 1972 that impacts us today, Alice Cooper's School's Out for the Summer. <laughs> Although my guess is, if you were in the convent in 1972, Probably not an Alice Cooper records being played, if I had a guess. <laughs> Sister Corda would not have allowed that. I'd also like to recognize our salutatorian, Luis Garcia. Luis, please stand and be recognized. <laughs> Felicitaciones. All right, you're going to hear this a lot today, like I told you, with a graduating class of 2022, please rise. So as you guys know, there's going to be a lot of speeches today. There's going to be a lot of music. We're going to, of course, confer some degrees. But I'd like to start with something a little more tactile, a little more active. I would like the graduates to look around at your families, your faculty, and I'd like you guys to give a round of applause for everybody who's helped get you here today. Will the graduates please be seated? I now invite Dr. Chris Domes, president of Newman University, to join me at the podium. In a few moments, uh, we're going to have the honor of providing two individuals with an honorary degree. And I want to just mention why universities offer honorary degrees. This is the most important honor that a university can bestow upon an individual. And here at Newman University, we take great pride in identifying exceptional people who are examples in our own lives of the lives that we want to lead and want to aspire to follow. And so today we have two exceptional honorees that we will recognize today. And I'd like to introduce two of our trustees, first of which uh, we'll, we'll give the first introduction, and that's Ms. Ann, Ann Beata, who is the uh, trustee emeritus at Newman and our former chair of our board of trustees to, to begin to introduce the first honoree today. So Ann, could you please come forward? Good afternoon. It is my privilege to introduce this honorary degree recipient. My dear friend, Sister Margarita Byrne, has served Catholic education for nearly 60 years. Most recently, she was Vice President for Mission and Ministry here at Newman University from 1997 to 2021. Her marvelous ability to connect with people is unmatched. You can find her chatting with students in hallways and attending hundreds of athletic events and student activities. Over the years, she has sat on many bleachers cheering on the students. In fact, she is recognized by thousands of current and former students as the most passionate voice in the stands cheering them on. Growing up in Clunlu, County Sligo, Ireland, she was the oldest girl in a family of six children, and she journeyed to the United States when she was 16 years old to join the congregation of the Sisters of St. Francis. At the beginning of her new life of service, Sister Marguerite was an elementary school teacher and a junior high school teacher and administrator. She first entered the classroom at age 19, teaching second grade. She became a high school administrator and educational leader. A 1970 graduate of Newman University, then Our Lady of Angels College, Sister Marguerite also holds a certificate in pastoral ministry from Boston College, 1996, a PD in administration and supervision 
from Fordham University in 1983, and an MA in English from Millersville University in 1978. For her six decades of selfless service to the Roman Catholic Church, her consistently inspirational influence upon generations of young women and men, and her many, many years of unwavering presence and support for students and families, Newman University is pleased and honored to bestow on Sister Margarito Byrne, OSF, the honorary degree of Doctor of Humane Letters honoris causa. Thank you so much. Members of the Board of Trustees, President Domes, thank you very much for this honor. And it is indeed an honor and a privilege to receive this honorary degree, for which I am truly humbled and grateful. I also congratulate my colleague up here, Mr. McConnell, whom I share the stage with. Congratulations to you and the good work that you've done for Catholic education. I have been blessed with a long career of service in Catholic education from elementary school through university. But if I have had any success, it is because I've had such remarkable colleagues who have supported me and made me look good and made my work look good, some who are here today. Thank you. There's a great line in a poem by the Irish poet William Butler Yeats that says, think of where one's glory most begins and ends. And I say, my glory is I have such friends. My glory is I have such friends. So I share this honor today with all those, my friends, who have blessed me as companions on this journey, beginning with my family. My niece, Kathleen DeMarco, is here to represent the family this afternoon, and I'm grateful for her and her presence here. The Sisters of St. Francis of Philadelphia, who have supported me. My work colleagues down through the years. And the many good friends I've made along the way. Although I grew up on a small farm in the west of Ireland, education was always held as a very important aspect of our lives. However, Access to an education in the Ireland of my era was not very easy. So I have valued all the educational opportunities that I have experienced down through the years and that I have received. But the most rewarding experience for me has been in those positions throughout my career that have allowed me to help young people access educational opportunities which have made a difference in their lives. You graduates, class of 2022, many of whom I know, have been blessed with your educational experiences. I congratulate you. And it is a unique privilege for me to share this day with you and with your families. As you take this step across the threshold of graduation, 
with careers that beckon you forward, may a rich and rewarding life await each of you. And as you have been a blessing on this campus for all of us, may each of you go forth as a blessing for our world. And in the words of an old Irish blessing, my prayer for each of you is, may the road rise to meet you. May the wind be always at your back. And until we meet again, may God hold each of you in the palm of his hand. Amen. Thank you. Sister Marguerite, I, I think you can still, I need to do this officially, I think. So, in the name of the Board of Trustees and the Faculty and Administration of New University, I hereby confer upon you, Sister Marguerite O'Byrne, OSF, the degree of Doctorate of Humane Letters, honoris causa. And I just want to note here, Many of our trustees are here today, and I just want to acknowledge them. They're here on the stage, and if the trustees want to just stand and be recognized, that might be nice. And we're going to introduce the next trustee, but if all of you want to just stand and be recognized, our board of trustees are here today to support our universities. So I just want to recognize all of them that are here. Thank you so much. And they also are instrumental in identifying and helping us to identify these honorary degree recipients. And our, our next trustee that I'd like to introduce, who, who will present the next honoree, is Mr. Jay Devine. Uh, Jay, could you come forward? Good afternoon. It's a privilege for me to introduce the, honorary, the next honorary degree recipient. Mr. John R. McConnell is the founder and president emeritus of Cristo Rey Philadelphia High School. John led the effort to launch this innov innovative model of college preparatory education right here in Philadelphia. He was able to develop unique partnerships with local education, business, and university leaders to, disport, to, dis, to support this distinctive Catholic school. Cristo Rey is designed and operated exclusively for students who could not otherwise afford a private education. The Cristo Rey curriculum combines rigorous academics with work internships in businesses where the students are mentored by business leaders. The work-study program accelerates the students' development and the wages they earn pay for the cost of their education. After a successful 27-year career at Deloitte Consulting, John retired in 2008, but he wasn't done yet. In order to lead the founding of Cristo Rey Philadelphia High School, he's a graduate of Georgetown University and holds an MBA from the Wharton School of the University of Pennsylvania. As a leader in Catholic education, and for his dedication to excellence in education, his commitment to an innovative college preparatory model to assist the marginalized, and his many years of tireless public service, Newman University is pleased and honored to bestow on Mr. John R. McConnell the honorary degree of Doctor of Humane Letters Honoris Causa. Well, first of all, thank you, Jay. 
for those kind and uh, generous words, maybe a little bit too generous. Uh, full disclosure, uh, Jay is a friend, and Jay is an employer of Crystal Ray students uh, in his business at uh, Divine and Partners. And it's a great job, and the kids love it. Thank you, President Domes. Thank you to the Newman University Board of Trustees and the entire Newman University community for the honor of this degree and for the chance to speak with you today. Thank you also for the partnership that we have built together between Newman University and Cristo Rey. It's very important to Cristo Rey. I think it's important to Newman, and it certainly is important to the students who come from Cristo Rey to Newman. I'm also especially pleased to share this moment with Sister Marguerite, who was a driving force behind that partnership. Jay introduced me to Sister Marguerite in 2011 when we were opening our new school, and she offered encouragement and inspiration, that doesn't surprise you, does it, for our beginnings, and she helped to build out the idea that we talked about in our first meeting, and that was to build a pathway from Cristo Rey to Newman for our graduates. And today, that idea has become a reality, which I think we were all very proud of. Today, there are 31 Cristo Rey students on the campus at Newman, and many others have graduated already. Now, graduates, you are certainly a special class. I think the class of 22 will always be remembered as persistent, resilient, unflappable. What could stop you now if a global pandemic could not? Yeah, right. Now I have to give a special shout out to my own family, three Crystal Ray students who are graduating today, Taekwon Sadler, Jade Harrison, and Joan A. Wallace. I, I know that they remember when we celebrated together when we graduated, when they graduated from Crystal Ray, but we all knew the real goal, your dream and our dream for you, was a college degree. So today is your day. I hope, though, that all three of you will come back to Crystal Ray, show off that Newman diploma, and ring the gong one more time. Now, it's an honor to address all of you here today, but this commencement speech thing, it's not an easy job. I've researched the best practices, I've watched some YouTube speeches, and of course I asked a few students for suggestions, and the message is very consistent. Give a little bit of advice if you dare, but no matter what, keep it short. So that's what I promised to do. First, I want to talk to you about privilege. In this crazy world we live in today, privilege has become a polarizing word. Some people who are privileged want to deny their privilege. Some have weaponized the word privilege and use it as a criticism. No matter the way you graduates might use that word, no matter how you might describe yourself, you, today, have joined the ranks of the privileged. Your college degree positions you for the extraordinary. Extraordinary relationships, experiences, jobs, careers, the list goes on and on. You now have access to the world of prosperity. More importantly, you have access to the world of influence. As Newman grads, you have been given even special privileges because you've learned that the Newman experience, and I quote here, is a gift to be shared in thoughtful and ethical leadership in the service of others. So 
what will you do with all of this privilege? Could it be that your privilege comes with obligations? Or are you just lucky? I think you probably do have obligations, at least to be grateful to those who've helped you along the way, to your family, your friends, maybe a teacher or a mentor. Later on, you'll probably take on some of the regular duties that come with growing up, your, your own family, a wider circle of friends, maybe the responsibilities of a job. But beyond your basic duties, I believe that you have become who you are for a reason, for a purpose, a purpose that is good, a purpose that is important, a purpose that extends beyond yourself to others. I believe that something important awaits each of you. And when you discover your purpose and respond to that calling, you will realize your full God-given potential, and you will be as happy as anyone can be on this earth. So now, the advice. We tell our students at Krista Ray that there is a subtle but, con but deliberate conspiracy happening in this school. And I believe that it probably happened to you here at Newman, too. Ideas have been planted within you. Franciscan values like reverence, integrity, service, excellence, stewardship. You've been taught to recognize and respect the dignity of others. Someday, I believe those ideas will stir and sprout within you. They will influence the way you use the gifts and privilege that you have been given. Later in life, you will be armed and potentially powerful with the knowledge and experience and relationships that can change the world. My advice for you is to do it. Use your privilege to change the world. Our world today needs you to use your privilege to change the world. Don't be timid about that. Don't conform to what others expect of you. Don't allow bashfulness or humility for be, to be excuses for not doing it. For right now, as you leave Newman today, your job is simple, do your duty. But later on, watch for your chance, pray for your chance to change the world. And when that chance comes your way, go for it. Thank you for listening, go Knights. Thanks, John. And, and again, as you can see, these two individuals espouse terrific leadership and are inspiring. Thank you both. In the name of the Board of Trustees, John, and the faculty and administration of Newman, I confer upon you this degree, uh, Humane Letters, Doctor of Humane Letters, Honoris Causa. Thank you so much, and God bless you. So I, I would like to honor our two newest doctors, Dr. McConnell, and I'm so happy to say this, Dr. O'Byrne. <laughs> well, I have to call you Dr. Sister or Sister Doctor when I see you now. No. <laughs> Will the candidates for the degrees, Bachelor of Arts, and Bachelor of Science in the School of Arts and Sciences, please rise and stand in place.
President Domes, in the name of the faculty and with their approval, I present to you the candidates for the degrees Bachelor of Arts and Bachelor of Science in the School of Arts and Sciences. By virtue of the authority vested in the Board of Trustees of Newman University, by the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania and delegated by them to me, I hereby confer upon you the degrees of Bachelor of Arts and Bachelor of Science, together with all honors, rights, and privileges pertaining thereto in recognition of the fulfillment of all requirements for these degrees. Congratulations. Melinda Jean Wu, criminal justice cum laude. Marissa Rose Lalone, Communications and Digital Media, cum laude. Michael L. Stellabot III, Communications and Digital Media, summa cum laude. Abdul Rahman Yadala, Liberal Arts. Yes, sir! Yes, sir! <laughs> Emily Hanahan, Liberal Arts. Kalia P. Williams, Liberal Arts. Alicia Marie Jackson, Liberal Arts. Carla Crystal Barnes Molina, Communications and Digital Media, magna cum laude. Christina Tannen, Communication and Digital Media, magna cum laude. Dominique E. Gatta, Psychology cum laude. Kaylee Rose Fioka, Psychology. Ahmad Salim Watkins, Computer, Computer Information Systems. Ashley Olivia Beasley, Psychology. Davia Danielle Campbell, Biology. <laughs> Justin M. Galishaw, Psychology. Sierra Taryn Marie McNeil, Psychology. Caitlin Nicole Brown, Criminal Justice. Brylin Lee Adams, Communication and Digital Media, Magna Cum Laude. AJ Tanari, Communication and Digital Media, Magna Cum Laude. Elizabeth Cavalier, Communication and Digital Media, Cum Laude. Aaron Patricia O'Brien, Communication and Digital Media.
Ali Marvel, Communication and Digital Media, cum laude. Brianna Alexis Johnson, Arts Production and Performance, cum laude. Joshua Diangle, Liberal Arts. Diamond Tene Eliza Taylor, Liberal Arts. Alua Tamiwa Ade Abaro, Biology. Shanice Boyd, Communication and Digital Media. Courtney B. Wallace, Liberal Arts. Karina C. Carter, Liberal Arts. Victoria Ann DeFebo, Psychology. Kayla Ashley Davidson, Psychology. Alexandra Conklin, Criminal Justice. Ayla Marie Harris, Liberal Arts. Catherine H. Benitsky, English. Angel Sheree Rogers, English. Leanna Unique Randalls, Criminal Justice. Diamond Collins, Liberal Arts. Ivani Dorcellis, Liberal Arts. Jordan Claire Karanian, Liberal Arts. Emily Olga Cooper, Psychology Magnum Cum Laude. Catherine F. Cox, Psychology. Angelia Kara Shaw, Criminal Justice. Peyton Jane Otis, Psychology. Jada Wilson, Liberal Arts. Ryan Patrick McGilloway, Communication and Digital Media. Xavier Canis, Communication and Digital Media. Siani Crawford, Liberal Arts. Bria Grace Greenlee, Political Science, Cum Laude.
Hunter T. Font, Criminal Justice. Nicholas Dembeck, Criminal Justice. Taylor Guerrero, Criminal Communication and Digital Media. Brianna Nicole Smith, Psychology. Alina I. McGonagall, Psychology. Bridget Mary McTiernan, Psychology. Imagine Boyd, Liberal Arts. Amira Logan, Criminal Justice. Madison P. Carroll, Liberal Arts. Delaney Christine Kitzinger, Pol Political Science. David Francis Chertel, Political Science. Nicholas Glabaki, Communication and Digital Media. William Edward Hart III, Biology. William Jonathan Hunt, Communications and Digital Media. Alec Silverman, Psychology, Summa Cum Laude. <laughs> Katrina A. Corrigan, Communication and Digital Media. <laughs> Xander Dean Augustine Kojic Karu. Political Science, Magna Cum Laude. Eric J. Fox, Jr., Political Science. Wynette Valia Jasma, Communication and Digital Media. Caitlin Ann McHugh, Biology. <laughs> Michaela Love, Biology. <laughs> Tiffany A. Stetchu, Biology. Colleen Megan Dever, Psychology, Cum Laude. <laughs> Rhea Benet Troilo, Communication and Digital Media, Magna Cum Laude. <laughs> Jessica Michelle Rizzio, Psychology, Cum Laude. Brianna Worthington, Liberal Arts. Brielle Nicole Flynn, Biology. Emily Hope Ross, Psychology.
Camille Joey Morga Morga Morgado Formia Formiaza, Biology. <laughs> Olivia L. Fritz, Psychology. <laughs> William Dominic Orlando, Biology. Gabrielle Path, Biology. <laughs> Ko Kwong, Biology. <laughs> Ian Michael Sigmund Hamry, Biology. Dominique Edwards, Liberal Arts. Chelsea Keebler, Liberal Arts. Emma Catherine Sabowski, Liberal Arts. Will the candidates for the degrees, Bachelor of Science in the School of Business, please rise and stand in place. <laughs> President Domes, in the name of the faculty and with their approval, I present to you the candidates for the degree, Bachelor of Science in the School of Business. By virtue of the authority vested in the Board of Trustees of Newman University by the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania and delegated by them to me, I hereby confer upon you the degree of Bachelor of Science, together with all honors, rights, and privileges pertaining thereto, in recognition of the fulfillment of all requirements for this degree. Congratulations. Siani Lee Hatchett, Business. Tara Charnice Thomas, Computer Information Systems. Nathaniel Richard Nicholson, Business. Jana Ali Herring, Data Science Analytics. Devin Simone Pigford, Marketing. <laughs> Leonard Walter Quill III, Business. <laughs> Eric Andrew Harvey, Marketing. Charles Gabon, Cybersecurity. Branded David Mowry, Cybersecurity, Magna Cum Laude. Carly Anna Quinn, Business Cum Laude. Drew Conlin, Marketing. Matthew Pareka, Sports Management. Jake Evan Giles, Sport Management.
Eric Steven Van Horn, Sport Management. Isabel Rose Hughes, Sport Management. Kyle Carmine Pantalone, Business Cum Laude. Austin J. Boyle, Accounting Cum Laude. Gabriel G. Starr, Accounting. Desiree L. Noggle, Cybersecurity Cum Laude. Luis Alejandro Garcia, Accounting, Summa Cum Laude. Julian Copertino, Business. Anthony A. Biaggi Jr., Sport Management. Ursa L. Owings, Accounting. Gabrielle Wilson, Cybersecurity. Tierra Renee Harris, Computer Information Systems, Summa Cum Laude. Courtney Jewel Murray, Sport Management. Emily Rose Granado, Sport Management. Luke T. Savage, Business Cum Laude. Joseph Capazzoli, Marketing. Steven Caruso, Jr., Business. Anthony Paul Bassiano, Accounting, Cum Laude. Philip William Fafman, Sport Management. Joseph D. Hoy, Business. Will the candidates for the degree, Bachelor of Arts, in the School of Education and Human Services, please rise and stand in place. President Domes, in the name of the faculty and with their approval, I present to you the candidates for the degree of Bachelor of Arts in the School of Education and Human Services. By virtue of the authority vested in the Board of Trustees of Newman University by the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania and delegated by them to me, I hereby confer upon you the degree of Bachelor of Arts with all the honors, rights, and privileges pertaining thereto in recognition of fulfillment of all requirements for this degree. Congratulations. Courtney E. Taylor, Elementary Education. Megan Marie Bush. Elementary Education. Caitlin Victoria Thomas, 
Elementary Education, magna cum laude. Carissa Marie Britton, Elementary Education. Maria Lynn Brown, Elementary Education. Brianna Hickey, Elementary Education. Jill Grossi, Elementary Education. Brett McLaughlin, Elementary Education. Caitlin M. Farrell, Elementary Education, Cum Laude. Nacion Bivens, Elementary Education, Cum Laude. Aaron Nicole Riddler, Elementary Education, Magna Cum Laude. Lashana I. Henriquez, Educational Studies, Cum Laude. Christina Mariah Smith, Elementary Education. Bernadette Serzin, Elementary Education, Summa Cum Laude. Connor Richard Gilden, uh, Educational Studies. Aiden Daniel Novak, Elementary Education. Casey Lynn Spicer, Elementary Education, Cum Laude. Taylor Ann Cullen, uh, Elementary Education. Adriana Marianne Butterline, Elementary Education, Cum Laude. Angelina M. Vinoversky, Elementary Education, Summa Cum Laude. Juliana Marissa Sierra, Elementary Education, Cum Laude. Alina Marie McLaughlin, Elementary Education. Nalasia Gaskins, Social Work. Emma Lynn Bynan, Social Work. Erin Jonay Williams, Social Work. Megan Ann Donahue, Social Work. Bridget Marie Woodland, Social Work. Gianna Renee Rosarto, Social Work. <laughs> Ashley Jordan Congleton, Social Work. <laughs> Lauren Ashley Duvall, Social Work.
Dr. Domes, in the name of the faculty and with their approval, I present to you the candidates for the degree of Bachelor of Social Work in the School of Education and Human Services. By virtue of the authority vested in the Board of Trustees of New University by the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania and delegated by them to me, I hereby confer upon you the degree of Bachelor of Social Work with all the honors, rights, and privileges pertaining thereto in recognition of fulfillment of all requirements for this degree. Congratulations. We had to do that so you didn't notice they came up a little early. So nobody caught that, right? Good, good. Will the candidates for the degree, Bachelor of Science in the School of Nursing and Health Sciences, <laughs> President Domes, in the name of the faculty and with their approval, I present to you the candidates for the degree Bachelor of Science in the School of Nursing and Health Sciences. By virtue of the authority invested in me by the Board of Trustees of New University, by the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania, I hereby confer upon you the degree of Bachelor of Science with the, all the honors, rights, and privileges pertaining thereto in recognition of fulfillment of all requirements for this degree. Congratulations. Alina Marie Battaglia, nursing, cum laude. Bridget R. Coulter, nursing, cum laude. Kimberly Ann David, nursing. Francis Davida Bakari, nursing. David Sung Kang Song, nursing. Tahira Sinkler, nursing. <laughs> Brianna L. Mondesire, nursing. Chance S. Levy, nursing. Jody Ann Lewis, nursing. <laughs> Teresa Maria Tracy, nursing. <laughs> Leanne Mattia, nursing. Eleanor Taylor, nursing. Chandler Johnson, nursing. Haley Lynn Hughes, health science. Julia Skye Harris, Health Science, summa cum laude. India Crystal Coleman Jackson, Health Science. John A. N. Wallace, Health Science. Isaiah James Rock, nursing, cum laude. Yeah. 
Sabrina Ann Martin, nursing cum laude. Deirdre Mary Holmes, nursing summa cum laude. Giovanna Marie DiGilio, health science cum laude. Abigail Rose Kelton, health science cum laude. Kayla Gillespie, Health Science Cum Laude. Phelan Elizabeth Mefford, Health Science. Shania Martin Robinson, Health Science. Allison Hall, Health Science. Zayon N. Snell, Health Science. Catherine E. Ekman, Health Science. Itzel Guadalupe Cabrera, Health Science, magna cum laude. Jalen A. Poles, Health Science. Michael Ravinsky, Nursing. Victoria L. Geeter, Health Science. Sarah Elizabeth Price, Nursing Cum Laude. Angela Coleman, Nursing. Caitlin Madrone, nursing cum laude. Shailen White, nursing. Julia Page Wilson, nursing. Alexa Ray Lamplu, nursing. Nicolette Alkins, nursing cum laude. Rachel Lynn Adamski, nursing. Corinne Alethra Hamblin, nursing. <laughs> Vanessa Bowen, nursing. Hunter C. Garman, nursing. Brett Scott Francis, nursing. Trinity Thompson Pierce, health science. Christopher Prezak, health science. Brett Howe, Health Science, magna cum laude. Samantha G. Falk, Health Science, magna cum laude. Bill, 
Bailey Gall, Health Science. Maria Catherine Frankowitz, Health Science. Victoria Keenak, Nursing. Amira Veronica Ivory Devel, Health Science. Karina Y. Martinez, Health Science. Dalby Aurelian, Health Science. Thomas J. Loftus, Jr., Health Science. Ariana Fatima Pena, Health Science, magna cum laude. Wyatt Bilotti, Health Science. Emily Margaret Reed, Health Science, magna cum laude. Rebecca Lynn Cohen, Health Science. Carissa Benello, Nursing. Dana Marie Doan, Nursing. Jillian Doyle, Nursing. Rebecca Susan Sparler, Nursing. Jade Essence Harrison, Health Science. Shirley Exilus, Nursing. Wilfinette M. Anderson, Nursing. Jada Lauren Ford, Nursing. Svet Ivanov, Nursing. Dr. Gnomes, we need to confer one more degree this afternoon because this graduate is the voice behind the curtain and has been busy reading the names of our graduates. The person behind the voice also deserves a special recognition because he is this year's class of 2022 valedictorian. President Domes, in the name of the faculty and with their approval, I present to you the candidate for the degree Bachelor of Arts in the School of Arts and Sciences. By virtue of the authority vested in the Board of Trustees of New University by the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania and delegated by them to me, I hereby confer upon you the degree of Bachelor of Arts together with all the honors, rights, and privileges pertaining thereto in recognition of fulfillment of this the requirements for this degree. Congratulations, Jake. Graduating with a degree in communication and digital media, Jake 
Joseph Loberak, summa cum laude. I'm not paying you for a couple of those names, and we all know why. I just want you to know. You ready? You sure? All right. Thank you, Dr. DiPaolo, Dr. Domes. Uh, I think I'd be remiss if I did not start the speech without a, hey, how are you? So, hey, how are you? <laughs> so, you know, given that I have a moment up here on stage, we're going to do something different. So everybody in this section right here, just go ahead and stand up real quick, please. Yeah. Great job. Go ahead and sit back down. All right, this section, go ahead and stand up. <laughs> You're exempt. That's okay. All right, go ahead and sit down. So we're gonna do something, I'm trying to get TikTok famous. So we're gonna do, you just demonstrated the wave and we're gonna do one right now. So we're gonna start with this side and go all the way across the room and I'm gonna try to get TikTok famous. So after I say three, two, one, go, we're gonna start over here. Three, two, one, go. That was fun, right? Yeah, that was fun. All right, I'm gonna be completely honest with you all. I had a, an entire speech prepared up until this week, and last night at 10 o'clock, I changed the whole thing. So don't worry, it's still appropriate and clean. So let's get started. I'd like to start by welcoming the class of 2022 and our families and friends who are here today. I wanna to welcome Dr. and Mrs. Domes, the Distinguished Board of Trustees, the Sisters of St. Francis, the Newman faculty, and the Newman community. I want to also welcome my family, my parents, and my beautiful fiance. I'm I'm extremely humbled and honored to be speaking here today. I always love telling the story of how I came to Newman. I had toured once in high school on my junior year and then again on April 28th of 2018, keeping in mind that the enrollment deadline was May 1st, so naturally 2 days before. The day I toured, Dr. DiPaolo sat down with my mom and I for about two hours in the comm building and discussed all the academic and financial aspects between Newman and the other colleges I was considering. The next day, I officially placed my deposit at Newman, and that summer, I emailed Sean McDonald relentlessly, trying to get involved with Newman Media as soon as I could. Now, little did I know, he was actually going on vacation to Disney with his family. But nonetheless, I started working my move-in day, and I was a cameraman for Sean and Newman Media. Fast forward to now, the past four years has truly flown by. I've had the privilege of working with some amazing people in the communication program over the years, and that all starts with the leadership. To Shaw McDonald, Irv Levine, Giannis Chakars, Joe Glass, and Carrie Hutswitz, thank you. You all have created a program that has a success story. Graduating from the program, we've been given the tools to work in an industry that's constantly changing. While it's nice to be recognized as a program with production awards, production awards, you've created a bigger picture. We started as just a group of freshmen, but you've turned us into a family. So from all of us, thank you. Over the last eight months, I wasn't sure if we were applause in there. Over the last eight months, Kyle Pantalone and I worked on an hour-long documentary series highlighting the university, men, university men's ice hockey program. It was one of the most fulfilling, challenging, complicated, and rewarding projects that I've ever done. In the editing process, there were many nights that went to three or four o'clock in the morning, but the journey taught me so much about my major, 
the team, and the importance of Red Bull. While interviewing some of the seniors, Joe Burboys, Richie Brusco, and Kyle Pantalone all spoke about how thankful they are to the sport and the program while speaking on how fast the time went. When talking to the current freshman class, Joe shared the importance of, of living in the moment and enjoying every day that they're in the locker room. Richie and Kyle both emphasized that point while adding that there's more to life than hockey and that one day everyone will eventually hang up their skates. Just like the seniors on the hockey team, today's the day that we hang up our skates on our college career. While Newman is what we've known for four years, to their point, there's more to life than Newman, just as there's more to life than hockey. Remember the values and the lessons that you've learned in college as you move forth in your career. Beyond my experience in my major, many of you know that I have a minor in theology. One of my biggest blessings has, has been the ability to tie in my, my work in videography into my faith life. For the past few years, I've worked on, at a number of churches in Pennsylvania and Delaware. Through my minor, our values here at Newman, and my work at the churches, I've come to learn the extent of God's love and, our, and grace for us. I've had some amazing theology professors here, but I want to shout out Father Lowe and Father Thorne. One of the things that Father Lowe always reminded us of is that we're made in the Im image and likeness of God. Father Thorne always stressed the idea of remembering who you are as well as whose you are. You are made in the, you are a child of God, and with God you cannot fail. One of my favorite Bible verses is from Jeremiah 29, 11. It says, for I have plans for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not harm you, and plans to give you hope in the future. Whether you're graduating early, or semesters, a few semesters behind your original program evaluation, or whether you're moving on into your career, or returning for a master's program, remember who you are, as well as whose you are. With God, you will not fail. He has plans to prosper you along your journey. And remember that we're not called to live an easy life, we're called to live a worthy life. Finally, I wanna thank Newman for all that he has given me. I've worked with some amazing individuals, I've met some of my best friends, and I've been blessed to meet my fiance here too. I could not be more blessed to marry my best friend next year with my college buddies alongside me. I've had an amazing time here at Newman, as I'm sure you all have too. So take it in today. So often we can get lost in our busy lives that we don't remember the little things. While today's no little feat, be proud of all that you've accomplished. Most importantly, remember that you had roughly 10 seconds on stage today. The 11th second is about to begin. So have no regrets moving forward because you're made in divinity with a father who will always guide you. As I wrap up today, I wanna to share two more things. The first is, is something I heard hundreds of times from Dr. Glass, and now I can finally say it myself. As you leave here today, go forth and let your light shine. The second piece of advice is something I learned years ago and has truly, truly changed my life. And that is, the mitochondria is the powerhouse of the cell. <laughs> Blessings, comma, Jake. Hard to follow that, but I have to. Will all of our graduates please rise, turn to the audience. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you Newman University's Class of 2022. Will our, will our graduates remain standing as I introduce Ms. Lori Smith, President of the Alumni Association Executive Board. Congratulations on behalf of the Alumni Association. They're already standing. So. The ceremony to induct each graduating class as members of the Newman University Alumni Association has been a tradition since 1972. There are three symbolic elements represented in the Sacred Heart Chapel for your class today. 
There is a candle that symbolizes light, the light to the world, which is achieved through education, often symbolized in the lamp of learning. Around the candle, there are greens to represent life and hope. Life in the sense that while you will soon begin a new part of your life, you will also continue to be an important part of the life of Newman. Hope that you will carry with you into your new life the values, knowledge, and understanding that you have acquired during your life as a student at Newman. Hope also that you will use your knowledge and skills to improve the world in which you live and the lives of others with whom you have contact. And a glass of wine to represent the fruit of labor. First of all, your labor devoted to many years of study and learning. You may now reap the benefits of that devotion to education. Represented also is the loving labor of the many people who made your reaping possible. Family and friends, the Sisters of St. Francis who funded, founded and sponsored this university, the faculty, administration, and staff whose lives are devoted to education, and the many people whose support makes it possible for Newman to be as excellent a place of learning as it can be. As the president of the Alumni Association, it is my privilege and pleasure to officially induct each of you as members of the Newman University Alumni Association. We welcome you and hope that the years ahead will be fruitful for each of you as individuals and for all of us together. God bless. Graduates, to signify your graduation, will you please move your tassels from the right to the left? All right, well, our most recent uh, graduates, please be seated. And now I would like to invite President Domes back to the podium for today's closing remarks. Thank you all. How are you doing out there, okay? You did it. This is an amazing moment for lots of reasons. First, I wanna say thank you to the, to the graduates, to the newest alum of Newman University. Thank you for being exceptional students, exceptional people over the last four years, two and a half years in particular, as we've made our way through some amazing and challenging moments. But we did it together. And I just wanna thank you and recognize you for your resilience and your optimism and your spirit and your willingness to keep on saying, yes, I wanna do this, I wanna accomplish it, and thank you for being here today to, to celebrate with this, in this great moment for all of us to celebrate with you. I wanna just acknowledge the family members and those that are so supportive of these graduates. Thank you for all that you do to support each of their education and their experience over the last four years here at Newman University. It means a lot to all of us and certainly means a tremendous amount to each of them. And to the faculty, thank you for what you do every day. The learning and experience in the classroom is what is at the heart of our institution. It's the heartbeat of this university. In a special way, I wanna thank the trustees, the Sisters of St. Francis of Philadelphia, and all those who help support our mission and our values here. Here at Newman University, we have a special place. And when you started here a few years ago, we would have said to you, you're gonna be joining an incredible community, a community that cares, is compassionate, and loves one another. And as you walk out and experience life and move from Newman into the next chapter, hopefully you are leaving with a sense of that spirit, lifting you up, helping you to achieve and make sure that you can tackle the next challenges that you'll face in your lives. Here at Newman University, we've done a lot to support you and continue to want to support you over the years to come. There's a quote from the Gospel of Luke, from everyone who has been given much, much will be required. And from the one who has been entrusted with much, even more will be expected. We're expecting great things out of you. You are incredible leaders. You have forged an education over the last four years with lots of headwinds ahead of you. 
You did it. You accomplished it. And we're so very proud of you. You have mentors in your life that will continue to be friends forever, who will continue to support you. The people that you connected here at New University are going to be on your lifelong journey with you. You look to the friends near you and around you. You look to the audience, the faculty, all of us. We're here along the way. Continue to reach out to those incredible mentors, colleagues on your journey ahead. You are Franciscan leaders. We've armed you with the RISE's values, those values that have been so much a part of the education here at Newman. And we know that you'll go out and live them. You have the tools. And you have an opportunity to shape a path in your life that's full of compassion. You will be a peacemaker. You'll show reverence for each person because you are a Newman graduate. Finally, I know that you'll continue to do your best. Our mission states that we're off lifelong learners, that we never stop learning. I hope you take that mission with you into life. Always care and respect for the people around you. Show those people, especially on the margins, that life matters, that because you're a Newman graduate, you care. Help out, make a difference. Continue to live a life of service. Congratulations to the class of 2022. Thank each of you. Thank your families. God bless Newman University, and God bless each of you. Thank you so much. Now I would like to ask Brianna Johnson to come to the podium. So everyone, please stand and join us in singing the Newman University alma mater, which is in your program. And now I would like to introduce to you all our university chaplain, my favorite friar, Reverend Akola Atuje. Friar? We have lost a friar. Could everyone please check under their seats?
I'm sorry about that. Well, congrats to the class of 2022. Please bow your head for the benediction. God, our Lord and our King, we thank you this day for these graduates. We ask you, O oh God, to open doors for them, to open blessings for them. Let everything they do and touch prosper. As they go forth from here, O oh Lord God, may you give them health and good fortune. We thank you, O Lord God, for their families today. We ask you, O Lord, to bless them. We thank you for all the efforts they've put in to help their loved ones to achieve this milestone. Bless their families so that they may see the good that their loved ones will do. As we go forth from here today, O Lord, Give us the grace to enjoy the company of one another. Let sadness not be our lot today, but only joy in your presence. In the days ahead, we will have blessings and we will have crosses. And when we do face our crosses, may we rely on you, God, and rely on one another. Most especially today, O oh Lord, as our people go forth from here, may you give them journey mercies so that when we wake up tomorrow, we may praise you and bless humanity. Amen.